now i am going to give you the brief explanation about the sampling theorem and what happens when a signal is sampled at nyquist frequency at zero crossings that is the main important point now let us first discuss about the statement of a sampling theorem what is sampling theorem state it states that a signal can be reconstructed back effectively only when the sampling frequency of the signal is at least two times of its maximum frequency so let us explore it now i am considering some signal in the frequency domain that is let's say some signal have the frequency spectrum like this frequency spectrum like this this is in frequency domain now i am sampling this signal with nyquist frequency nyquist frequency is phi is the maximum frequency this is maximum frequency this is fm let's say maximum frequency of the signal is fm and this is fm and what happens to the frequency spectrum of the sample signal the frequency of spectrum of the sample signal will be like this it's a periodic repetition of the original baseband signal with spacing equal to the sampling frequency it will be same as this and it continues now see how can we prove that fs equal to fm will reconstruct the signal effectively so here this is fs and from here to here this is fm right and this distance is also fm fm so the minimum frequency fs is equal to twice the maximum frequency what happens if it is less than twice the maximum frequency is this part will instead come like this if it is less than this part will come like this and this part will get interfered and we can't reconstruct the signal back so when we have a ideal low pass filter cut off frequency equal to fm so this is the ideal low pass filter which is having the cut off frequency as fm when we pass this sample signal through this low pass filter the output will be only this this part right only this part rest all will be zero this part is nothing but the original signal so this is the way we can reconstruct the original signal now let us see what happens if the signal is sampled exactly with nyquist frequency let's explore this fact in time domain this is time domain axis time axis and now i'm considering some sinusoid of some frequency i don't know and some frequency like this and this is the amplitude of the signal and when i am sampling with nyquist frequency what happens we will get two samples in one period what is the nyquist frequency in for is the sampling frequency number of samples per second must be equal to two times the maximum frequency this is one period so it means we should have two samples in one period suppose i am not sampling somewhere here 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 suppose i am sampling near the zero crossings then the sample the signal will be nothing but zeros at those zero crossings at those zero crossings right 
so it is impossible to reconstruct the signal back so the statement of the sampling frequency will be sampling theorem states that the sampling frequency should be preferably greater than twice the maximum frequency it can only be equal given that the sampling is not can only be equal to 2 fm not zero i'm sorry it's not it can only be equal to 2 fm only when the sampling is not done at the zero crossings when the sample is done at the zero crossings it cannot be equal to 2 fm thank you